every single time you think a thought in a neurological perspective, you know, this is once again, like is always the case when I'm talking about the brain, this is an oversimplification, but it's a useful oversimplification, okay? And so these images and these ways of thinking can really help us activate something inside of us, and that's the point. Okay, so every single time you think a thought, it's like, at first it's just a, a neuron fires, right? And then if you keep thinking more thoughts like that, then that neuron might get a little bit bigger, and then it starts to branch out, and now you think, and now you feel that way. And then maybe you act that way. And at first, maybe it's only in this certain environment in your life, you think, feel, and act in a certain way. Say, let's say for example, it's anxiety. So you think, you think an anxious thought, oh no, what if? You have anxious feelings, you're tight, your chest gets tight, then you decide, oh, you know what, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna avoid that situation, right? So now, that's just one. But then all of a sudden you start, you start, you know, you're feeling anxious here on this neural, on this neural network, and then you start thinking about this other thing. And then you start feeling anxious about that, and then you start kind of avoiding that situation or that behavior. And then here, 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 and then here. And now pretty soon, you have what is called a neural network. You have a neural network that is dedicated to anxiety. And anything that, and like a spider web, anything that comes now in contact with this neural network gets caught up in it, and boom, a new experience, and now, ooh, now it's part of the network, and now the network expands and grows new territory. And pretty soon, anxiety is throughout your entire life, right? So this is called sprouting. Literally, even though neuroscience uses this term called sprouting. And it is a for better or for worse principle. Now, what we're learning in this week's exercise is about your definite major purpose in life and how to focus on a future, how to create a new neurological map in your nervous system so that you can logically get there, right? If you are driving and you're lost and you're, and you're, and you're hoping to get to California, but all you have is a map to Texas, and you follow that map to Texas, and then you get to Texas and you think, damn it, why aren't I in California? Well, that would be ridiculous, right? You wouldn't expect to get to California by following a map to Texas. That would be unreasonable. The same is true in our neurology. If we do not have a map to the future, if we do not have a map to what we value and choose, then it's an unrealistic expectation to think that we can get there. Of course, the map is not the territory, and there might be detours and bumps in the road, and we might get a flat tire, and we need to stop for gas and food and sleep and all these things that are not necessarily on the map and we can't necessarily predict for them but the map still gives us the right direction to keep moving and without this direction we're just going to be lost that's inevitable and all we're going to do is keep following the same maps that we already have and you've noticed this about life right you keep doing the same things over and over and over again and expecting different results well that's that's not having a map to California, expecting to get to California when you only have a map to Texas. When your whole, when your neural networks are devoted to anxiety and you don't have neural networks devoted to what you value and choose. So now the good news is, is that while there's sprouting, there's also pruning. And sprouting is a for better or worse principle. So if we start to focus on what we value and choose, we start to create new neural activity and it starts to branch out well then by definition as we focus on this new material we automatically and simultaneously prune the old material because whatever you focus on grows and whatever we don't focus on due to lack of attention will dissipate and so this is where therapy often really goes wrong or pop psychology or self-help or even the way we journal in our journals. We're focusing on 
the problem. I hate anxiety. I wish I didn't have an anxiety. I wonder why anxiety happened. Where does anxiety come from? Maybe it's from my past. Maybe it's from my parents. Maybe it's from the government. Well, we're, all we're doing is strengthening the neural network of anxiety, even when we want to get rid of it. Oh, I want to get rid of anxiety. I don't like anxiety. I wish I didn't have anxiety. Well, it's still all the same neural network of anxiety. But when we focus on what we value and choose and we grow this neural network, then we starve this of attention. And so we sprout, we sprout our future and we prune our past. We burn the map to Texas and we only have the map to California. Well then, eventually we're gonna get to California. It doesn't mean that we get, that right, that get there right away, but it means that we're now moving in that direction and we have a logical infrastructure in place in order to help us get there. All right, so hopefully this is useful for you. It's is super useful for me. And I want to share this with you uh, because I love you and I want you to thrive and I want you to cultivate your best life so that we can uplift each other and uplift all.